Oh my God, we did it. We're back again. We're here. <laughs> we didn't get canceled. It's our second live stream. <laughs> awesome. Well. Any uh, aftershocks from our, our last episode? No, I mean, I thought that video would do better too, but. It's YouTube. Yeah, it's YouTube. They're hating. They're hating on our I gotta channel. say, it's probably one of the funnest videos we've done in my book. I enjoyed that. I that was fun. Too. That was great. Well, I'm Gary. I'm this Matt. is Matt. If you're new to the channel, we do product reviews every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And what sets us apart, Matt, I think, is that we give away everything that we review. We love to give stuff away. So we started the channel what 19 months and eight days ago. Oof. Right? It's been a minute. It's gone. Pretty quick, but yet sort of slow. Yeah. It's been a mixture of the two. A lot of learning. To date, we've given away $47,205.67 in products. No wonder my wallet's empty. Pretty, pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Um, we've got some social media, right, that uh, the folks could sign up for we'd really appreciate it if you could help us kind of grow our social media facebook we're on the gram twitter twitter doing a little bit on tiktok I'm starting to pick up more on tiktok so easy to find just search review to you give us a follow we're going to be doing some different stuff there on our social media um let's do a rundown real quick on what we're going to get into today so we're going to start with winner circle and that's our new membership program that we've just turned on uh, as of yesterday and unbelievably well not and not surprisingly we've got a member our first member is gabriel pember congratulations man she will forever awesome be the first member you will not regret it gabriel we're gonna we're gonna really really uh well we'll get into what uh, the benefits are of the winner circle membership are and then we've turned on our merch store so I've been working with uh, Matt. We've got some kind of cool designs. We've got, um, you know, we've got some cups. We've got a couple wine coolers. We've got some hoodies, some um, some shirts T-shirts. Like yeah, we've got, we've got, you know, we're just getting started on the merch store. Um, so we think there's some cool, cool stuff there. And we can kind of go into that a little bit. Um, and then product review. So we're going to do a product review today for our video tomorrow. So Monday's product review we'll do today. So just a reminder, don't drop a comment um, for today's product review in the live stream chat. We're going to do that again, like we did last month with the shocker thing. We're going to do that as a separate video tomorrow. So just kind of a, uh, a heads up on that. Uh, then we're going to take a look at some of the products we're going to review here in October, which should be interesting. I think Matt's done an amazing job of selecting some very, I think, uh, exciting, interesting products for the month of October. So we're going to take a look at a few of those. And then we're going to announce our winners from the month of September. And then uh, we'll get into a little uh, live Q&A, which is always part. fun. And then we'll do some uh, giveaways. So we're going to give away three products today live on the stream. And we've got this Magnavox home theater projector, which is, what is it, a 1080p? Or what is it? A f is it 3K? Uh. Uh, I believe it is 1080p. Um, you know, a lot of these things say they are 4K. Yes, 1080p. All right, so it's Bluetooth, yep. though, so you can stream like you could stream the the live stream up to 160 inch screen. All right. So, so we're going to be giving that away live today. We've got an 11 inch Wi-Fi digital picture frame which is a 2K Ultra HD. So we're giving that away. And one. then we've got the Shark VM200P12 VacMop, Vacuum Mop Bundle. So if you guys are interested in winning one of these three prizes, um, super easy. There's a link down below in the description. Hit that link. Well, first of all, subscribe to the channel and then turn on your post notifications. So uh, you don't miss any kind of future giveaways or when we do select you in kind of our normal giveaways, you know, a lot of people don't respond and those gifts, prizes go into the unclaimed prize pool. 
So make sure you turn on your post notifications. But to enter one of these three, go in the link below, click it, and just simply add your YouTube username and hit enter. And you'll be ready to go. And we'll do the Wheel of Fortune like we did last month, right? Love it. Cool. All right. So let's get into this. We're going to be... If you have any questions about how to enter uh, one of these giveaways, just go ahead and drop a comment down below or a, uh, leave a comment down below and we'll get back to you during the stream on uh, answering any questions there. That's right. That's right. Um, let's get into the winner circle and let's why we it. decided to, to turn that on. This. So the winner circle is our membership here on Review to You. Um, it comes with several perks. And it supports the channel immensely. Uh, Matt and I have been doing this, like I said earlier, for about 18 months. And it's, uh, it's expensive to ship these products out. And um, yes, yeah, it really helps the channel uh, in a big way. So some of the benefits, right, are these loyalty badges. Every member is going to receive a loyalty badge. And the badge is right next to your username. And so in comments, live chat, it'll show up. And it's just a way for us to be able to recognize some of our loyal fans. The badge changes the longer you're a member. So as you're moving along here and you're signed up for, you know, the first month, second month, um, those, those badges will change uh, to kind of indicate how long you've been a member of the channel. Uh, and then we've got emojis. So all members are going to receive unique emojis. We've got some really funny emojis. We've got uh, one with Matt uh, doing his... Uh, is that a Richard Simmons get up? It is. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and we've got some other emojis. So if you are a member and you type the word wow in, for example, uh, an emoji will, uh, will, will pop up in the live stream or, or comments. Uh, we're going to be doing member shout outs. So Gabrielle, big time. So, so thankful uh, to you and, and uh, joining the, the, uh, the winner circle. Uh, I feel like we should make her a special badge for being the first. I think that's a great idea. So we'll get on that. Um, so member shout outs like that, you know, for everybody that's a member in the live streams, um, you're going to get member shout outs. But the big one, right, is VIP access. So we're going to have exclusive members only access to, well, live streams. And on those live streams, those member only live streams, we're going to be doing some fun stuff. For sure, including giveaways. That's right. So, and if, those are if you're a member, you get to watch those videos and participate in the get giveaways. That's right? right. Yeah, that's right. So, that is the winner circle. Do you want to run through kind of what that looks like real quick? Um, so, if you go to the landing page on our our website or the YouTube page, uh, you'll see a join now, and if you hit join now. It comes up, and it's got kind of a list of the benefits that you're, uh, you're going to get. And so here's kind of the emoji with Matt, uh, but super easy. Again, you don't have to uh, join uh, the Winner's Circle, but it's a way that you guys could uh, support the channel if you so um, desired to, and it would be uh, immensely uh, appreciated by us for sure, right? Absolutely. All right, so let's get into the merch store. And so for the merch store, we've, again, it's on the, the, the main channel now. If you hit store, you're brought to the merch store. And we've got some t-shirts. We're just getting started with this. So as we get going, designs will be added to this and freshed, freshened up. Um, so we've got, you know, luck is a residue of design, which is something that an old coach of mine used to uh always yell at me so that's that's kind of a different one we've got this uh you know and all the t-shirts here on spring are of, of uh, really high quality um and so we've got you know faith over fear which is uh one of my favorite sayings and um uh, we've got the uh hoodies we've got t-shirts we've got uh, women's apparel um you can go in some of the women's t-shirts here and again, these come in kind of various colors. We've got some accessories. We've got some drinkware. We've got a vintage wine cooler uh, that's got, what does it have here? What do we put on there? Beer is made by men, wine by God. Well, whether that's true or not, uh, 
we can debate. But there's the the merch channel. Again, if you see anything on there for the entire month of uh, October, we're going to be offering a 20% discount on anything that you uh, might want to get. And uh, all you have to do is drop the uh, code review to you. And so there's our merch store. And again, you guys don't have to buy anything, but we wanted to just provide an opportunity for um, followers of the channel to uh, to get hooked up with uh, some cool swag, right? Love it. What's your favorite Great on the merch it. store? I like the uh, I like that new logo that you did. Um, that one right there, like on that mug, bottom row. Anything with that logo on it, I'm a fan. Just love that. It's like that classic, clean, simple look. Yeah, I like that. I think my favorite right now might be the... I think my favorite right now... I like this hoodie. That mm-hmm. hoodie's cool. I also like this, too. Out of the box. Yes. Right? I think the out of the box uh, is, is pretty solid. Anyway, so that is the merch store. So if you guys think you saw anything cool or you want to check it out, the link is on the YouTube landing page. So we appreciate any support you guys want to give us there. So we're going to get into today's product review, which will air tomorrow. It'll be a Monday product review. And um, so just a reminder, don't drop a comment in the description of the live chat. Do it tomorrow when we post that video. So here we go. What's yellow and black and has a light? and will be your new favorite tool. It's the DeWalt 8-Volt Max Cordless Screwdriver Kit. Huh? A screwdriver. You're probably seeing a screwdriver. I've seen a screwdriver. What's the big deal here? Well, this screwdriver is different. Let's start with this thing has a gyroscope. Yeah, it's a gyroscopic inline cordless electric screwdriver. Features speed variations that Matt's going to demo here in a sec. And the speed variation is going to allow you to choose the level of performance needed for various applications, right? So it allows for a quick bit change. And it's hex bits is what this thing uses, one-inch bit tips. Uh, So what's in the kit? Well, let's get it opened up and find out. All right. We've got the 8-volt max inline gyroscopic screwdriver. I got to tell you, Gary, I'm really excited about this one. I know I've been trying to get you to do this review for a minute, and you just don't believe how amazing this thing is. Wait a second. So you're turning it. Let's get that on the camera a little closer so people can see what you're actually doing. So you just press this button right well, here. Well, first on of the all, top. so you get, the dr- you get the screwdriver in the kit, you get a charger, and you get a one hour. Good for one hour lithium ion battery. That's correct. All right. It's some of the highlights on this thing. What, what's the weight? About two pounds? Um, That's what the spec sheet says. About two pounds. About two pounds. It doesn't feel like two pounds to me, but I've been working out. What do you think? No, it doesn't feel two pounds. No, definitely not. Like, that's just amazing. So you squeeze the trigger. Show the folks what you kind of do to operate so, this thing. First off, we're just going to pop in a Phillips head screwdriver here, uh, tip. I got a few screws here, some pre-drilled holes. So you'll see, just just like a normal screwdriver, but we just pressed a button. And depending on which way we want it to turn, we just turn it that way. All right, if so let me get this straight. There's not a... There's not a torque mode that you kind of flip back and forth. No, no left, no you right. You just turn your wrist left or right, and that'll change the bit direction. That's right. So, what about the fat? So, what if you want to speed it up? How do you do that? Just turn it more. So, so the more you turn your wrist, the faster it'll go. That's right. Wow. Yeah, pretty amazing. How do right? they do that? <laughs> that? That's some black magic. And so the gyroscope, it'll work whether you're. In a vertical position like you are right now, what if you were, like, straight ahead? Absolutely. Upside <coughs> down. I mean, this thing really, really is amazing. So here, I'll just uh, get this one started, and you'll see we can turn it to the side, and same thing. Just press the button, undo them. Oh, 
Wow. Put it right back in, right? That's pretty cool. There's no flipping a switch to go in and out. I mean, I bought one of these, Look and how then strong. I, bought, I immediately bought two more as soon as I opened it up. Look how strong the light is on that thing, too. Right. So that's the other thing, right? If you're underneath your kitchen sink or you're somewhere where... You really don't have good lighting. Look at the light on that thing. It's like a spotlight. And I'll tell you where the game changer. You know, we, we put a lot of stuff together here when we take it out of the box. And this absolutely changes that, right? You get a, a nice bit set like this here that has all the different bits in it. And, you know, you open the box and no matter what screw type, whatever, you know, whether it's an Allen wrench or a star key or something like that so no One bits can't, no bits come with it no this particular the version we got is just a tool with the battery okay there is a kit that costs about 30 dollars more that does come with the uh it comes with a 30 piece accessory kit, yeah. i believe or so you'd want to pick up that right uh, you might already have a set of these at home or you're, and they're just, they're just hex bits, right? Yeah. They're just a standard bit. So these particular ones, and, and again, this is, this is all standard, That's cool but too. it the just quick, has the, the, the bridge. But the quick release, how you yeah, pop you, that in and out. I like that. Pull it up. Cause my drill, right. I've got, uh, I don't even know what I got, but I, I've got to flip it and then hold on to the top. And then, you know, sometimes yeah. it drops out. That's pretty sweet to be yeah. able to do that. But I like the way, you know, like I've always, I'm always clicking on my drill. I'm always clicking the button and accidentally driving it when I'm trying to get it to come out, right? right? Whereas, man, all you do there is just intuitively turn your wrist left or right. And it makes it so much easier because you don't have to worry about over torquing it or not torquing it enough, yeah. right? Like it's, you still get that feedback in your wrist. But it's, you know, it's it's not going to over torque that screw or bolt or whatever it may be. But, yeah, this thing is absolutely amazing. And it's solid. It's not, um, you know, a lot of those devices, probably like the screwdriver you have, you just hit the button and there's one speed. Wow. Pretty much, right? Yeah. So you What's the price point on this thing? Um, I believe. It's like 85? 80, yeah, right around $90. 84 bucks. Yeah. So, I mean, you can't beat that. Yeah, for normal kind of power drills, that's right in line, probably on the low end. But yeah. the usability, the ease of use, I should say, um, and it's super light. Yeah. And the battery life, you know, you can always grab another battery. What are those batteries you think run? Um, Do you want to grab another one just to have in the queue? I'm, I'm guessing around $20. Um, that You know, that is the one thing, you know, if, if I had a complaint, it would be, you know, I have a bunch of other, the DeWalt tools, and they use the bigger batteries, right? right? So that's now... That's kind of, a, that's a proprietary battery for that screwdriver? Yeah, got so it. now I have, you know, one more charger that I got to find a place mm. to plug in. Yeah. Um, so, but, but, I mean, what a minor complaint, really. Right. What, what tool are you going to buy that doesn't have that? And I don't think you would want one of those huge batteries on a little device like this. So yeah, I understand so it. Easy to read um, gauge. You can see where you're at with a power. Simple to operate. I mean, you've got one big kind of button on the, on the bottom that you can feel as soon as you kind of get it in your hands. Yes. Um, easy to remove bits. They just snap right out. This thing's pretty cool, man. Oh so on a gosh. scale of 1 to 10, what, 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 what do you score this thing? You know, I got to be honest with you, it's probably the best tool that I've gotten in years, right? This really is a game changer, in my opinion. I, I got to give it a 10. No questions. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, in reading a lot of the reviews and in, in different, um, you know, folks that have that have dug into this thing, uh, they all say that it's one of their, their favorite tools now. So um, that's great. So we give it a 10. So how do you get one of these things? Well, you got a couple... You got a couple options. You can follow our purchase links that we've included in the description below and up in the top right and pick one up for, as Matt said, 84 bucks. Or you could enter the review to you drawing and try to win hours for free. The rules are pretty simple. Just make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and then leave a comment with the hashtag we hid somewhere in today's review. We didn't use Silver, who's sleeping right now, our highly sophisticated random selector to choose our winner. 
All the winners are announced right here on the channel, so don't forget to turn on your notifications so you know if you won. We get a lot of people, man, that aren't responding when we've selected them as winner because they don't have those post notifications turned on. Well, so I'll make you sure what, you do the, that. The winner circle people are going to be pretty happy if they don't respond now. That's right. This has been Review to You, where the only thing we love more than amazing gadgets is giving them away for free. From Gary and Matt, we'll see you guys next time. All right, so that was our video review. We'll drop that tomorrow. And uh, thanks for... Uh, hanging in there with us on that. We, we, we did it in a way that we can kind of just grab it out of the live stream and, and use it as a, uh, as a post tomorrow. So just another reminder, don't drop a comment with the hashtag in this live stream video. Do it tomorrow, right? Love it. All right. So what do we got for the rest of the month here in, uh, in October? Right? So we've got... We're not going to go through all of our, our uh, planned product reviews for the month of October, but, you know, let's talk about some of the highlights. And I think, you know, the channel does really well with vacuum cleaner reviews for some reason. So we have not done a cordless wet dry vacuum, have we yet? No, this is going to be a new one. I think you're going to like it. So we're going to break out with the Bissell Turbo Clean Hard Floors Wet Dry Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. And I've got, a, I think, a screenshot of that bad boy here. And um, You have a lot of hardwood and tile in your house, right? Yeah, we do. Same with me. And this, this, this one changes all that. We, I've been using just a regular you know, stick vacuum for several years now. And then mopping. And this does it all in one pass. I cool. You're going to really like it. All right. So you guys are going to like that. And then we've got coming up Squishmallows. Did I say that right? Are they Squishmallows or Squishmallows? Squishmallows. Squishmallows. The hottest new thing on Amazon and Amazon, Costco. Costco. I was Everywhere. just there the other day. I sent you that picture of somebody walking uh, out with one under each arm. I'm a believer. I, I didn't know about it, but I was told that these are hot. These are the new big thing, right? So we're going to be doing uh, a review of uh, some squash mellow, different characters. Uh, yeah, we picked out what, what we believe are the cutest ones on Amazon. So this is the cutest squash mellows on Amazon. I love it. I love it. Hope, hopefully you guys love it too. And then we're going to drop into one of the three, <coughs> excuse me, one of the three must-have products that were reviewed on Shark Tank. And so this one, I think, is going to be pretty interesting. Have you had a chance to play around with it yet? <laughs> I did. I used it on some fruit. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting to cook the turkey uh, to try it out. But I'm, I'm actually really excited about this one, just seeing what it did on a, a watermelon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's the Mighty Carver Electric Carving Knife, which is very timely as we get closer here to uh, Thanksgiving. This thing looks like a beast. And it will make you look like a boss, <coughs> <coughs> for sure. Excuse me. All right. And then, uh, again, we're not going to get into all of them, but then we're going to um, we're gonna get into the best beginner drones on Amazon. And here's one of them that we'll be taking a look at. It's the S88 Mini Drone for kids. And uh, I think we're taking a look in total uh, at how many? How many? Three. We're looking at three. Yeah. So, again, if you've got any kids or you like drones, these are the best beginner drones that we found on Amazon. So that's just a small glimpse it's some of the products we're going to be getting into uh, here for the rest of the month in October. Yeah. Anything I missed that you're excited about? Lots of giveaways this month, right? The drones, we have three products. So yeah. that, of course, will have three winners. Um, not sure how we're going to do Squishmallows. And uh, ooh, we're doing a cozy products this month too you didn't you didn't tell everybody about that one but we got a bundle of uh products to keep you cozy as it starts to cool down cozy like snuggly cozy oh yeah you're gonna like it all right and we didn't forget the pets either love it love it all right so that's a glimpse into what we're going to be getting to for the rest of the month now it's time to reveal or announce 
are winners from the month of September. Uh, C. Lemansky. Thank you, brother. So we've got two members in the winner's circle right now. Love it, guys. Thank you so much. Really, really awesome. So we've got Gabrielle and C. Leminski. Appreciate it, guys. We'll get into a little bit more here, what, uh, what we're going to do after this live stream with you guys. But um, let's get into the announcements uh, or the reveal of the September winners. Let's do it. All right. So first product of the month was three new games for family game night. And uh, our guy Hawken made a cameo appearance in that in that video, and our winner was Brett Nolan. Brett, uh, Brett's a regular on the channel. We appreciate your support, Brett. Next up was the Lightning Reaction Reloaded, which we reviewed here on the live stream, and uh, things shocked the crap out of me. Man. <laughs> oh man, just I, think every time I see the product, I think about you getting shocked, and it just makes me laugh, bro. That was every time. That was crazy. I uh, I was literally shocked by that. <laughs> and so our winner of that fine product was Will. Steen. Congratulations, Will. And then another live stream giveaway winner of the Greenworks Drill Driver and Impact Driver. And uh, it's our good friend, Darren Lincoln. And uh, we're going to share a little surprise that we've got here later at the end of the uh, live stream that Darren provided us with, or at least facilitated us getting we got some awesome subscribers that's all i have right to say. absolutely yeah. so the winner of the greenworks drill driver and impact driver was daryl lincoln congratulations on that daryl our next up in the live stream giveaways was the greenworks 24 volt stick vac and our first winner circle member was the winner gabriel bember so congratulations to Gabrielle on that. And then next up on the live stream, product giveaways. And this thing was pretty cool, this Braun Multi Quick 9. Mm -hmm. That was a nice product. Yeah. And the winner of that product was TKO. So congratulations, TKO. And uh, next up was... Five kitchen gadgets you didn't know you needed. And the winner of the five kitchen gadgets you didn't know you needed was Becky Carmichael. Congratulations, Becky. Next up, Razer Deathstalker V2 Pro Wireless Gaming Keyboard. This was a pretty good keyboard. I think Hawken did another cameo in that video. Probably the favorite keyboard that uh, we've reviewed thus far. This thing was really, really nice. The winner of that product was Tim F. Congratulations, Tim. Next up was the Cafe Affetto Automatic Espresso, espresso Machine. What would you think about that thing? Oh, this thing was amazing. I'll tell you what surprised me is that we only had fi like 50 comments, I think. So, I mean, this thing cost, what, uh, around $600? And you had a one in 50 chance, maybe, of uh, winning, if not better. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. I, I don't know any other giveaways where you have chances like that. Truly, truly amazing. Yeah. Um, so the winner of that product was Mike N. Hawk. Congratulations, Mike. Next up, we had three kitchen organizers you need. I like this video i thought it was it was like we've got tons of sandwich bags and plastic bags all over the pantry and this product really was was i think a great idea really made me realize how unorganized my kitchen is absolutely yeah, and how much help i need so the winner of the three kitchen organizers you need was sarah owen congratulations sarah Sarah's another regular on the channel. We appreciate the support. Next up was the Recoil R4 Marine in Power Sports 200 watt speaker system. Man, this speaker system 
was really cool, but the Jeep that you installed it on was even cooler. What's the story with, with, the, with the Jeep that we had there? Yeah, so that's my uh, buddy John's Jeep, and uh, this guy makes the most amazing custom bikes. Yeah. So he, he draws them up. In fact, he's making us a sign. Okay. I, I don't want to tip too much off, but... Will we have it on the next live stream? I think so. All right, cool. I think so. It's going to be pretty bad. Awesome. It's, uh, it's going to be awesome, yeah. Well, his um, Jeep was amazing. Yeah, this guy, he put a lot of work into it, and, and he basically, you know, rebuilt so much of that Jeep from the frame. It's it's really a rock crawler, but uh, the speakers he had in it weren't that great. Yeah. And he asked me, hey, Matt, what's the best speakers for a Jeep yeah. that are going to be loud? And uh, did a little research. We found these, and I said, we're going to need to make a video on these. It really sounded that great. I was surprised to learn that Recoil's a local company, too. That's what you're telling me. I yeah. didn't know that either. Yeah, I think they're officed uh, on Broadway, or they're in Tempe. So the speakers were good. I um, mean, they sounded pretty good. Love promoting uh, local companies with great products. Well, the winner of the Recoil R4 Marine in Power Sports 200-watt power speakers were Richard... Webb, or was Richard Webb? So congratulations, Richard. And then I thought this product was amazing. It was the dog bike leash, right? And I've got two Australian shepherds, and you know, um, I usually just kind of hold on to the leash while I'm riding my bike or the skateboard, and just you know, and just kind of deal with when they pull, which they will, especially when they see cats or squirrels or anything yeah. like that, right? This thing was amazing how it had this kind of spring built into it, and it looked like a great product. Yeah, no, I loved it. And, you know, Silver is really good about running along next to me. But lately, he doesn't like to leave the street unless he has his leash on. And when I'm one-wheeling with him or riding a bike, it was hard. So I was looking for a solution for that. And I, I, I got this particular um, bike leash because it has the spring loaded. Right. And that's the game changer on this one. Yeah. It really is. I mean, he ran alongside me, was never an issue. The spring had plenty of give, so he didn't get whiplash or anything like that. One thing you just got to be careful, you got to keep your eye on them because when they, when they got to go to the bathroom, you know, they just stop and squat. Right, so, right, right. Yeah. Well, the winner of the dog bike leash was our good friend Chewbacca 2020. Congratulations to Chewbacca. And then uh, next up, we had the Tesla Model 3 must-have accessories. We got, a lot of, we got a lot of comments about, you know, like I remember Mike Morgan said, what the hell, like, you know, uh, or maybe it wasn't Mike, but somebody was saying, you know, I don't have a Tesla and... You know, if I could afford a Tesla, I wouldn't be on your channel I'm trying to win free stuff, <laughs> right? But I hope that's not true or that oh, was a you joke. you can always count on Mike for a funny comment. I don't know. Mike, if you're out there, I don't mean to attribute that to you. I thought that was you. But um, anyways, you know, obviously Teslas are an expensive vehicle and not everybody can afford to get a Tesla. So, you know, this was maybe one of those that we felt like would be uh, an interesting you know, product to review or products to review because, you know, Teslas seem to be, or electric vehicles seem to be being pushed so hard right now in this yeah. kind of current environment that we're in. And, uh, but, you know, we, we listen to your feedback and, and comments and totally respect uh, your view on them. So um, we didn't give away the Tesla accessories. We ultimately were giving away a Tesla Model 3, correct? That's correct, yeah, because, I mean, like Mike Morgan pointed out, we were just concerned that somebody who would win it didn't have, wouldn't have a Tesla, so we, right. we wanted to make sure we gave away something that the winner could use. That's so. right, so we gave away a Tesla Model 3. That's right. A toy version, though. Yes. <laughs> just <laughs> disclaimer. Hey, hey, we keep getting members like this. Maybe next year we'll be giving away the real thing. Man, that would be awesome. Oh, I'd love to be able it? to give away a car. Uh, and so here's here's another one of those. Our good friend Elwood Slim was the uh, the winner, and uh, you know we notify, we drop a comment letting you know that you've won or been selected as the winner. And if you don't have your notifications turned on, you don't know oftentimes that you were picked as a winner. And so these prizes like this one, have gone unclaimed. So, Elwood, if you're out there, you've got a little bit of a window to reach out to us and and claim your prize. We've uh, 
I think got your information anyway, so maybe he's not the best example. He's a previous winner. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Are you going to, with the winner circle now, are you going to keep w- reaching well, out? Well, I to- think what we're going to have to do is stick to the 24-hour window, right? Ooh. And if you don't respond within the 24-hour window after you've been notified, those products, I think, need to go into the winner circle, uh, unclaimed prizes. Wow. I mean, I think that's fair, right? Drop a comment in the... Yeah. Uh, in the live chat, if uh, you agree with that or you think we should provide a larger window than 24 hours. I mean, most people have, if you've got your post notifications turned on, you've got a mobile phone, you're, you're, you're able to see the notification. It's not, you know, I think a big ask, is it? Yeah, no, I mean, I have them turned on. Yeah. On lots of channels, so... So anyway, uh, congratulations to the winner of the Tesla Model 3 must-have accessories giveaway in the t- model Tesla Model 3 toy car, Elwood Slim. Next up, we had the Go Sports Pickleball set, which, you know, I don't know if a lot of the viewers out there play pickleball or knew about pickleball, but growing up in Seattle, uh, good friends of ours, uh, the Parmalee family, they had a pickleball uh, set up in their backyard, a court, the whole thing, right? And this is like 1978, man. That's crazy. I thought this game's only been around for a couple of years, to be mm-hmm. honest with you. Right? Because it's really come back, yeah. right? So it was developed in Bainbridge Island up in Washington State. And as like I said, as a kid, we used to play this game. And it was such a fun game to play. I mean, the to 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 have fun playing it, your level of skill doesn't have to be that great, right? Yeah. Like tennis, to go out and play tennis as a beginner, it's hard, right? There's right. a lot of mishit balls. But pickleball is a much slower. Um, you're playing with a wiffle ball. The, the balls don't travel as fast. Um, if you're older, it's, it's a low-impact type of a game. So it's cool to see the reemergence of pickleball as, as a sport. It's the fastest-growing sport in, in the USA right now. That's what we found out when we did the research for this, right? That's right. And, uh, you, you know, the other thing that I learned and, uh, and the other reason we did this video was that the local fire department here, this is the only competitive game that they're allowed to play when they're on duty. They That's used right. to play ultimate Frisbee and basketball, but uh, they had to do away with that because of injuries that were happening to the, the firefighters there while they're playing other competitive sports. So yeah, I think sense. that just speaks to, um, you know, not how easy the game is, but how low impact it is. That's right. Yeah. So the winner of the, Go Sports Pickleball set, and I think he just responded yesterday, uh, was Pete G. And I think he referenced his son plays the sport. And that's awesome. Would would, uh, would appreciate the thing. So and he's actually going to get a new one because uh, we reached right. out to Go Sport. We felt bad leaving those firefighters without a net. That's right. <laughs> so they got the net, and uh, Go Sport was uh, nice enough to give us another one to send to the winners. So. That's right. Thanks, Go Sports. Yes, thank you. Yeah, appreciate that. And so next up was the three bike stands to keep your garage organized. And so we did three bike stands. We did a floor, a hanger, and a vertical. And uh, I've got a hanger bike stand. And I love the thing. You know, when I'm messing around with, like, the tires or, you know, cleaning the sprockets or anything, it's neat to be able to kind of just have it there. And then... You know, for people that live uh, and have multiple bikes with, with, with you know, children and whatnot, um, any sort of bike stand to help stay organized was kind of the idea behind this video, yeah. right? Like, if you've got a bike or a multitude of bikes, you know how unorganized they can get. And, and they're so awkward yeah. that it's hard with multiple bikes to find, like, a good space for them that doesn't take up a... a large amount of space right so yeah so this was this was uh, a fun video and um the winner of the floor bike stand we had three winners on this since we did three different products was sean schaefer so congratulations sean and the winner of the hanger uh, bike stand was brooklyn english bulldog and uh, we haven't heard from from brooklyn english bulldog yet so if you're out there english Brooklyn or Brooklyn English Bulldog, make sure you shoot us an email that's, so we can get this to you. That's the one to win there. That was my favorite. The hanger? Yeah. Yeah, I like that one too. Very well built. And then the vertical bike stand went to Cecil Fritz. 
You think I pronounced that correct? Cecil or is it Cecilia? Cecil. Oh man, I'm Sicily. Is it Sicily? You think? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not. I'm gonna let you keep messing it up. Yeah. And... Well, however we butchered it, we apologize, Cecily. Cecil. What do you think it is? Cecil. Cecil. Cecil Fritz. Congratulations. All right. Next up was the KitchenAid cold brew coffee maker. Dude, I drink 32 ounces of cold brew coffee every morning. And oftentimes, it's out of my refrigerator with a Starbucks label on it. Mm. Those things are not cheap, man. No, And not add at all. up. And, you know, I was just doing the simple math when, when, you know, we were talking about doing this product. And, you know, it's easily around 200, 240 a month that you're yeah. spending on cold brews. And so this product was like a no-brainer. I think this was my uh, favorite product of September, to yeah. be honest with you. The most surprising by far. By sure. Um, now, some of the comments um, I was reading on Amazon, or at least the, the main issue that people had with this thing, was that the it leaked by the spout. Did we have that problem? Not at all. In fact, I, I'm really surprised that that even happened. And maybe it was some early runs mm -hmm. of it. But the spout on the unit we got, nice and tight. And I could definitely see if you didn't close it all the way. Yeah. You know, you might get a little uh, drip here or there. But... I mean, it performed really, really well. No issues there. And, and the quality of the, the coffee that came out. I mean, yeah. honestly, I don't think... I, I, uh, I believe on this one I used the Starbucks blend. Mm -hmm. And I swear the um, cold brew that came out of this thing was better than the, what I get at Starbucks. I mean, it's so smooth. Yeah, I mean, just listen. I mean... People are all kind of feeling uh, economic pressure, you know, uh, right now. And so this kind of a product is just kind of a no-brainer, right? Yeah. Um, anyway, the winner of the KitchenAid cold brew coffee maker, again, surprisingly, we have not heard back from her, was Nicole B. So, Nicole, if you're out there and you want this cold brew coffee maker, reach out to us. Otherwise... You know where it's going. <laughs> Gabriella. Well, maybe. <laughs> maybe. All right, next up. And the final product for the month of September was the must-have accessories for the MetaQuest 2. Yeah, this video was for Hawk. He's always saying, Dad, I need this accessory for uh, my Ocula or my, my Quest. Um, and I keep getting them. And he must have gone through about three or four head straps until he found one that he likes. Yeah. So, yeah. And this one that we gave away had the battery incorporated into right. it, right? That's right, yeah. Yeah? So I figured we save some of the save some people some uh, pain and just let them know what, what we found to be the best one. So. You know, I've got mixed feelings about the uh, VR uh, world that we're, you know, heading down the tracks on. Um, you know, I... I, I I keep thinking about, you know, this image of, of kind of Ready Player One, mm -hmm. right? Where, the, you know, our kids are in these kind of haptic suits and, and they live in this, you know, reality that's, you know, that's a digital reality, you know, yeah. and they never leave their house. And so, but the other side of that is that there are, um, you know, games that, are active, right? There's sports games that you can you can play with this thing, right? Yeah. And so the golf the golf game with the golf club that we gave away, that was like, oh, okay, I like that. So my kids wouldn't be necessarily like sitting on the couch playing like Madden yeah. all day and not moving, right? There's games with VR that are active games, right? Yeah, and, and you know, these things have gotten so good that you legitimately could improve your golf swing mm -hmm. with them. And, and, you know, I really think... Uh, you know, I think you feel that way because we're old. Right. But if you look at the kids, you know, even Hawk over here and how he uses it, I really think these are the future of learning, right? Because you can, you know, with these VR headsets, you could, for example, work on a car or do yeah. learn, visually learn how to do things without actually you know, having a car to work on. Man, I totally get that. Totally get I that. I think is next level when it comes to education yeah. and experiences. Because if you think about it, you know, experience is where you get knowledge from. Mm -hmm. And 
you know, if you can get these experiences at a fraction of the cost right. or almost no cost, right. then what's the limit of learning a new skill, mm-hmm. right? No, that makes sense. Completely makes sense. Also travel, right? For I mean, sure. There's a lot of people that would never have an opportunity to, you know, go to the Louvre. Yeah. Right? Or go to some monument or go to another country and walk the streets of that city. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, those those scenarios, those use cases are off the charts successfully mm-hmm. positive, right? Yeah. It's the others, you know, where you're just immersed in a dark room in your house you know, playing some game and I don't know. I just, I just, yeah. I got ill. I got weird feelings about that. Yeah. I mean, it's a, a not uh, autonomy, I guess yeah. that, that kind of frightens me because, you know, you don't have to be yourself. You can be somebody completely else in right. these virtual worlds and, you know, well, it's coming. So we yeah. either get on board or get left behind, but for the sure. winner of the must have accessories for the meta quest two was Todd, Zanti. So congratulations, Todd. So those were our uh, winners, our big winners for the month of September. And um, we've got a couple folks out there that still have not reached out to us. So you've uh, you've got a little bit longer. We're going to give them a little bit longer, right, Matt? Yeah, uh, we're, we're going to need to work on that. I'm, I'm not sure 24 hours is the right time frame. Kay. Maybe it's seven days, maybe at the end of the month. But yeah, let, I'd love to see your feedback in the comments. What is the right time frame for somebody to claim one of these prizes? All right. I'm down for that. So let's get into some uh, Q&A. Let's, uh, let's talk to the folks. How are we going to do that? Oh, yes. Yeah. Duh, Link in the instant. description below. So the three giveaways today that we're doing is the projector, the digital picture frame, and the shark fa- back. And so if you want to be, uh, if you want to throw your hat in and uh, enter for a chance to win these three products, we're going to draw on the uh, Wheel of Fortune here in a little bit. The link is in the description below. And all you have to do is hit that link and enter your... Uh, YouTube username, and then we'll uh, we'll grab those at the end of the uh, live stream and stick them in the Wheel of Fortune and select three winners to win these three great products. Right? Cool. All right. Live Q and A. So, Hawken, what do we got? Uh, no questions. No questions. <laughs> Nobody's got a question. All right. Cool. Oh, Gabriella better uh, tell her to respond. Okay. Have her shoot us uh, an email and uh, we'll coordinate uh, we'll coordinate uh, shipping with her on that. Is it worth walking through how this process goes and why we do it the way we do? Sure. With, um, so as you know, uh, to win one of these products, you just got to leave a comment with the hashtag. And we need that hashtag because the program that we actually, it, it actually isn't silver. I, I hate to let that secret out who selects them. <laughs> we have a program that uh, we wrote that goes loads all the comments. It looks for a comment with that hashtag in it. If it has that hashtag in it, then that person create uh, gets an entry. Um, it then it then creates a random number uh, from how many entries we have, and then whoever's comment that is, we go in there and we uh, reply to that comment and say, "Congratulations, you're the winner." Now we have to do that because YouTube doesn't have a mechanism to communicate with subscribers or somebody who leaves a comment. Yeah, we can't drop a DM. Exactly. So this is why we have to do it this way. And then when we leave that reply telling you that you're the winner, that's where your notifications, having notifications turned on is important. Because when we reply to you, you're going to get that notification saying review to you just replied to your comment. At that point, we need to verify when you contact uh, us via the uh, winner at review to you email that we put in the comment, we have to verify that that is in fact you who we're talking to over email. And that's why we have you go in and edit the comment 
proving that it is your account that uh, left that, that comment. And in fact, you are the winner. Uh, once you verify that you're the winner, we collect a uh, shipping address. And then usually about once a month now, we uh, load up those pro uh, th all those products. We box them up, put a nice little winning certificate in it, sticker, uh, from review to you and we get those shipped off to you and again we cover all the shipping so all you did got to do is win but that's uh that's the process and a little explanation on why we do it that way so we got some questions now uh first one is from melinda she says uh do you have a backlog of products for review oh that's funny uh we do have a little bit of backlog um what we do, the way our process works is usually about like right now we have the whole month of October um, scheduled out. We know what videos we're going to do, but oftentimes, like last week, we actually moved some of those videos around um, and we introduced, uh, I believe, two new products. So we have two products that kind of get pushed down uh, into the alternate or maybe we'll do, excuse me, we'll do them next month. But yeah, we got a backlog. Sometimes we don't end up doing it. Um, it's a shame we can only do three videos a week, but three videos is a lot of effort. Man, it's so, a lot of effort. Yeah. I don't know that we could do any more than three. I think three's good. You know, yeah. it gives it gives a window, an opportunity for people to watch the video, and if they want the product, they can enter. As far uh, as a backlog, though, we get eight products a day from Amazon. So that's 56 a week, and out of those, we choose three to do a video. So um, it's, it's, we, don't, we certainly don't do a video on every product we receive. We try to pick the best ones, what we uh, think are going to you know, be, be of the most interest. Um, often, sometimes we get really bad products, and we feel like we need to point that out. Um, but yeah. Do a lot of reviews. Try to bring you guys the best ones. We have another question from Matt Tabor. Have you ever broken a product while reviewing it? Uh, I got a story on that one. <laughs> the airplane? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> have we ever flat out broken one? Um, trying to think. I feel like it's happened once or twice. We, we did a remote control airplane. I was looking for that footage because I was showing somebody your football uh, your skills with a football and how good your aim was. But uh, that was one of our first videos that we did, the first couple months. It was a remote control airplane, and I have a bit of experience with them, so I felt pretty good. Uh, we took it off. We got a few shots. What do you say? It was in the air for no less than 60 seconds before I parked it at a, the top of a, a very, very tall pine tree. <laughs> And we probably tried for about, what, 45 minutes to an hour to knock this thing out of the, the tree. Uh, Gary was throwing footballs at it. We tried to use a drone to get it up the out, and it just didn't happen, unfortunately. So we uh, ended up buying another plane to finish the video, and then that's ultimately what we gave away. But it does happen. Um, Hopefully, when it does happen, we've given ourselves enough time between shooting the product and when the product was scheduled to, the video was scheduled to drop, but. Joe, Joe Regis, man, that is so awesome. Another new member. Awesome. Thank you, guys. So did you find that video, Gary? Of the well, I mean, I've got the video. Later. It's It's streaming right now. Okay. Didn't we also break a race car, too? Oh, yes, yes, the remote control. Man, we got a, a thing about breaking remote control things. Right. So. This is when you... That was, a cool, that was a cool little plane, though. Yeah, it was say. a cool little plane. And it was inexpensive. I want to say, if I remember correctly, it was around $40. There we go. Which is... Uh. <laughs> and that's when we tried to, I tried to fly the drone up there to like blow it off. That didn't work. And then I had a football. I'm trying to throw the football up there. 
gosh, and I just was pasting that thing. You it really were. I was and it wouldn't so come impressed out. impressed with your aim. That oh, was incredible. Anyway, so that was fun. Good times. What else? What 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 other ones did we break? I think we got another question. Wait, we've got another. Joseph Fulmine. Welcome to the winner circle, baby. Holy cow, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. And uh, we're going to definitely make it worth your while. And uh, that's awesome. Thank you, guys. Joseph, Joe, C. Lemensky, and our good, good friend, Gabrielle. So welcome to the winner circle, guys. All right, what do we got? No. Does the hashtag comment need to be case sensitive? No. It does need to be spelled correctly. Um, uppercase, lowercase, it don't matter. But you do have to have the hashtag and then whatever the word is. Again, that's so our program can identify uh, somebody who's just leaving a comment and somebody who actually wants to win the, the prize we're giving away. Yes. Uh, so the question is, the Ast uh, Altec uh, Sound Rover, that was the speaker that pretty much was uh, <coughs> dead out of the box. Having seen the working one now, the lights were much brighter than they were when we shot the video. Um, even sounded better, to be honest with you. But yeah, it, uh, it worked for, I'd say, about an hour. Um, but it... If I had to guess, I believe the battery wasn't charging. So when we plugged it in, it was just running off the battery power that it came with from the factory. And once that battery ran out, that was it. But Alltech Lansing, they replaced the unit. They sent us, the, we actually had to send the old one back. And they sent us a brand new one. And then we got that uh, out to Gary, our winner. In fact, Gary uh, lived here locally. So uh, I thought it was be best to save a little money and not give it to UPS and I drove it over myself and he was outside and I got to meet him which was cool yeah Gary if you're on here um, let us know what you think of the speaker um, I don't know if Gary's on here Gary's Gary's got I think Gary works at Intel I believe I believe so yes and he's got a son that is flying f-16s for uh, for the U.S. military, wow. for the Air Force. That's great. We got another uh, Winter Circle member, Matt, Matt Tabor. Thank you, Matt Tabor. Yes, thank you. Welcome to the Winter Circle, friend. All right, do we, what Any are the questions? questions? Yeah, we have a lot more questions. Yeah, what has been your favorite item you've used and love the most? Hmm. Favorite item I use and use the most. This is going to sound funny. This isn't one that we did a video on, but uh, I got it from Amazon to review. It is a toilet, a bidet smart toilet. And uh, I got this thing probably a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago from the Vine. And uh, it was a pretty pricey toilet. It was probably around $3,000 for this thing, but... You walk in the bathroom and the lights turn up and the seat goes up and it flushes itself. And ironically, that toilet gets so much usage in my house. I mean, we have <laughs> three, four bathrooms and that's the one bathroom that's always occupied. So uh, it, it, it's pretty amazing product. It, it changes going to the bathroom for you. But do you have a favorite, Gary? Yeah, I mean, I think we touched on it last week. I mean, my favorite video video um, is is definitely the uh, Supreme Fanny Pack. Oh, yeah, yeah. That you know, I think that's make. from a creative standpoint. I, I, I don't know. I feel like that's our, our best creative so far. Um, in terms of a product, you know, I've got to go with the Grill, bl grill Blazer Grill mm. Gun. I thought that thing, and I've got that video up if you want to put it up on uh on the screen you know this is still the only way i like charcoal now i, I don't use any chemicals nothing i always use a torch now this Game thing changer. was so fun this this video was so fun to shoot too yeah um so i think for product 
you know, this thing was was amazing. I mean, look at the flame. We have a little back to back duel there. <laughs> that was you a know, fun video. yeah. So I think that was from a product standpoint, probably one of my favorite. Um, I'm excited about the the Carver. The, yeah, the Carver. The, yeah, this month, the one from Shark Tank. That's going to be, uh, I think that has a lot of potential. Okay. Next comment. Well, Disney fan, you're welcome. You know, we appreciate, it's a lot of hard work to put these uh, videos out, but Matt and I really enjoy, um, you know, creating these videos. And, and none of this would be possible without our good friend, uh, an editor extraordinaire, producer, director, Brandon Garcia. So much uh, thanks to Brandon, who's behind the scenes, making everything happen. Um, but Disney fan 2015, um, thank you for this, for the nice comment. We really, uh, we really appreciate it. All right, so another one, Weekend Love 69 product ideas. I've been in the hospital with my mom who had a quadruple bypass. She, he says she's doing good. And I was thinking some kind of games or things to do for the visitor or patient if they happen to be in a hospital. That's a great idea. That is a great we idea. can love 69. And we're, we're sorry to hear that your, your mom was in the hospital, but, but glad she's uh, doing well. Uh, we can love 69. a Man, been a long time supporter of the channel, hasn't he? Yes, yeah. I in fact, uh, I met him probably uh, right after we started it. Uh, he won. I forget what product he won, but again, it was a local person. I delivered it, and uh, I was able to meet him. Super nice guy. I know he's really into uh, ATVs and off-road vehicles, and is always suggesting stuff for him. So, always getting great feedback from him. So Angie's wants to know how I can enter. So Angie's, go in the description below and you'll see a link. That link will take you to a form and you simply drop in your YouTube username and hit enter. And right now we've got 32 entries that's for great. the three giveaways. So your odds are phenomenal. Yep. So. And again, that uh, the way we're doing the giveaways for the live is slightly different than how we do the giveaways in normal videos. Normal videos, you leave a hashtag in the comment. Um, during the lives, because we're giving this away live, we have, um, again, another special tool we, we created that uh, does a wheel of fortune that, that we're going to put on the screen. So that's why we do those differently. This is true. Chewbacca says, I can't join. My link says there was a problem purchasing. You purchased. Maybe you guys can email me the link. Well, I mean, just go, if you're talking about uh, the winner's circle, um, just go to the uh, our page and, you know, hit the, hit the link there, I think is probably the best way. I don't know if there's a different link that we can send you. If that's what you were mentioning, Chewbacca. Um, Email me later, who's one of my favorites. Has a company ever said they didn't like your review or rating? Um, who's the water, uh, the soda, the soda thing, the soda spring, uh, the soda water? Soda, wasn't was that, it, was it Phillips? Phillips dropped a comment about flavoring and that we shouldn't be flavoring. <laughs> yeah, I did say that in the directions. Um, but you but, know we don't read directions oftentimes. No, and and you know what? No, to answer to specifically answer your question, no, because no no brands are paying us. Uh, we don't get these products from the brands. Um, you know, as Matt mentioned, Go Sports, you know, uh, agreed to provide our winner with a product, but you know we are completely independent. Um, and you know, all these reviews that we do on these products are un. Uh, solicited yeah. for the most part. And yeah, we get all of our products directly from Amazon. So, you know, being an Amazon influencer and part of the Amazon buying program, we're able to select eight products a day. Um, and then out of those eight products, we select the three that we do the videos on. Um, 
But yeah, no, it's completely up to us and we'll throw a company under the bus. No problem if they have a crappy product. That's what we're all about the product. We don't care about the company. Oftentimes on Amazon, we, you know, we, we oftentimes leave bad reviews and, and there we'll get companies, you know, replying to our reviews saying, hey, how can we make it better for you? How can we fix this? But uh, most of the time, uh, you know, once we review the product, that's the review. We don't we don't let them influence what it is unless, you know, there, it was a defective product or something like that. But then we're going to mention it. But Yeah, I mean, we can address if we start getting big checks from brands, you know, <laughs> no, we would never but do that. I think at this point, right, it would have to be a monstrous check. And even then I think we would, we would, we'd want to do a honest and, and fair review of, of, of the product uh, at the end of the day. So cause that, that's really what it's about. And, and, and I think, you know, what the Amazon buying program is about too, right? Yeah. The fact that we don't have to buy these products, we can just give it an honest review. You know, if it's, uh, we're not it, it we didn't spend a boatload of money for something and had unrealistic expectations but right? i'll see comments occasionally you know by random people that say oh that's an ad you know and it's you know, listen man i mean there's a lot of content on 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 youtube if you're not digging it you know you you can you can find probably something else to um, you know, that you like, but, you know, we're not paid to do these, uh, reviews and we're not, you know, we're not, uh, you know, under any kind of pressure to make sure they're positive. We, yeah. we try to give an honest review, uh, music in our times wants to see silver, silver, Hey, yeah. buddy. silver, Come he on. wants to know where the expert <laughs> random winner Come chooser on. is. He comes sit on the couch. Yeah, Silver Silver is such a good boy. Oh, he yeah. uh, he's a good sport and helps do a lot of videos. Um, you got anything to say, Silver? No. All right. All right. He's Weekend Love sixty nine says foot massager. Does that mean he wants us to do? Uh, he won the foot oh, massager. Oh, he won the foot massager. That's right. That's what he won. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Which is such an appropriate product for him to win with that name <laughs> right <Yeah. laughs> uh where is the link i don't see it all right is the link i think he's talking about the winner circle yeah. okay so if you're in this if you're in the live stream right now the link is in the description so if you're in the description uh chewbacca it should be at the bottom and it's right under the, it's the number two, right? So I say for a chance to win one of these products we're giving away, do the following two things. You're, you're obviously already subscribed. So the number two there has the link to the form. And you hit that link and... and what about uh, the winner's circle? So winner's circle is um, on our main page. So you should see on our main, main page... You should see, let me get to it here. On our main page right here, you should see memberships. All right, so hit that. And then you go join, and then you go boom. All right. All right, hello. How long have you been reviewing products on YouTube? Well, Joseph, um, exactly 18 months... And what did I say? 19 months and eight days. March 1st, 2021 was our first video review. So that's how long. All right. Anything else, Matt, we want to mention before we get into this? Right now we've got 35 entries. Anything else we want to mention? Uh, I don't think so. I think we covered it all. Okay. Just to clarify, like we've been reviewing since March 2021, but Matt's been reviewing a lot. Reviewing yes. A yeah, we've actually been part of the Amazon buying program for about three years now. So, it, <coughs> um, so yeah, we've been 
getting eight products a day from Amazon for about three years now and then uh, doing reviews and then 19 months ago started doing uh, video reviews and giving the product away. So we are the number, is it 244? Uh, 244 uh, on Amazon as uh, our reviewer ranking. So out of anybody who's ever left a comment on Amazon, we are ranked 244 under reviewers now. So we started out, it was in the millions. So that's been uh, quite an achievement in just three years. All right. Should we shut it down? Let's do it. You ready to select some winners? Let's do it. All right, we're I shutting it down. I feel like every time, uh, <clears throat> every time we give away a vacuum, Gabriella wins. That's going to be crazy if this happens again. I think the only thing she's ever won is vacuums. All right, so we're going to go username, and we're going to do that. And hit Control Copy, and then we'll post our names in here. This is such a cool deal here. All right, let me go full screen here. All right, we're ready. So, what do you want to start with first? Uh, let's go left to right. So, what do you think? The picture frame. I think let's do the picture frame. Let's do it. All right. We up. So everybody that entered, you can see as it's spinning around here real slow, your name should be in there. We got all 35 entries. And so we're going to give this bad boy a spin. It's going to be the picture frame first. Here we go. Oh, my God. Darren L. Oh, yes. Darren, I'm going to go to Vegas with you, buddy. <laughs> Darren L. is the winner of our picture frame. So let's make sure we don't forget that. Darren. Congrats, Dar Darren. Darren. Darren, we're going to get into a little something from, uh, from your, uh, from your place here in a little bit. That. I am, too. All right. So we'll get rid of that. And we will move on to the Magnavox home theater projector. Here we go. Joe Regis. Love it. That's, is that a new one? A new name? No. Joe's a longtime subscriber, and he's a member of the Winner's Circle. Oh, well, our f congratulations, Joe. Yeah, Joe. So, hope you enjoy that home theater projector. All right. Last and final giveaway for the public live stream is the Shark Vac Mop. You ready, Matt? Let's do it. Sarah Owen, another great wow. supporter of the channel. Yes. Sarah Owen. Congrats, Sarah. Thank well, you, Well, that's guys. it, guys. That is it for the live stream giveaways. Um, I want to thank. Let me go in here and look. You don't have to show that, Brandon. But let me, let me get in here. And I want to thank, personally, members of our winner circle. First of all, I want to thank everybody who supports the channel. Just because you're not in the winner circle doesn't mean you're not as important as uh, everybody else. But thanks, to everybody, for supporting our little channel. And uh, specifically want to thank, though, uh, Tabor Tech, C. Lemensky, Joseph Fulmine, our first, Gabriel Pember and Joe Regis. Thanks, guys, for um, joining the Winner Circle. We will shoot you out. Be on the lookout here for a link in a little bit. Um, we'll shoot that out to you here 
after the uh, public live stream ends. So just be on the lookout for that, okay? And uh, so what we're going to take a look at right now is, before we sign off, we want to thank a great friend of the channel, Darren Lincoln. Darren owns a distillery called Cotton Hollow Distilling. And he was kind enough to set us up with a bottle of his limited-release Cotton Hollow Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Now, since it's limited and not sold in Arizona, we had to have somebody go down to Texas to pick us up the bottle. Darren, do you want to open this bad boy up? Darren tells us that this is bottle 532 of... uh, batch that is five years old so i'm not a whiskey connoisseur and it is sunday but um this stuff is really really appreciated um and uh, we're going to give it a try here and give a toast to all of you folks out there that uh, took the time to watch a live stream and uh toast darren as well you know this is one of my favorite things about starting this youtube channel meeting people like uh darren we would have never met Mm. otherwise how's it smell it smells like whiskey did we figure out the difference between whiskey and bourbon no but if you're in there darren in the live chat maybe you can quickly let everybody know what the difference between whiskey and bourbon is I do know that every bourbon well, first of all, is a whiskey. Cheers. But not every whiskey cheers is a bourbon. Cheers to you, Darren. And cheers to our Winter Circle members. And cheers to everybody that uh, supports the channel. We really appreciate you guys. And our second live stream. It's nice, huh? Nice smooth. <laughs> wow. You know, you know what would go, go great with this? Ice. The shocker game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I think that's uh, I think that's about it. I can't think of anything else that we want to mention. Um, just be on the lookout. Thanks for all your support. We're going to have some great products for the rest of the month. So if you aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And again, make sure you turn on those post notifications. So if you are selected as a winner, you know you won. Um, And if you have a product like Darren, let us know because we would love to feature it and try it out ourselves. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, It doesn't have to be a whiskey distillery either. No, whatever. Whatever, whatever. So on behalf of Brandon Garcia, Hawken Roth, Who's done a great job manning the live chat. He didn't tell you he changed his name like 10 oh, years ago? No. Oh, yeah. He, he has to be referred to as Hawk now. Hawk. Hawk. Yes. My, my apologies. <laughs> Hawk, thank you for, for helping out today. Really, really appreciate it. And my good friend, Matt. Thank you, Gary. We'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great weekend. Thanks, out. guys. <laughs>